William Holmes McGuffey, a renowned 19th century American reformer, was born on September 23, 1800, in Claysville, Pennsylvania, and later moved to Ohio in 1802 with his parents. During the majority of his life, he was passionate about educating children and preaching the gospel. He believed Americans were neither spiritual nor moral enough, and that religion and education led to a healthy society. He dreamed of a, an America without immorality, but instead one with high morals, religious beliefs, and education. Give me all your money. Okay, okay, here it is. Too bad, I'm gonna kill you anyway. McGuffey wanted to achieve this goal by educating everyone, morally and spiritually. One day, while McGuffey was teaching at Oxford, a small publishing company asked him to create a textbook series of readers for elementary age students. He was overjoyed because he now had a medium through which he could teach his personal philosophies to kids. McGuffey completed the first four of his readers in less than two years and was paid handsomely for doing so. The readers encouraged standards of morality in the United States and helped shape the American character. The McGuffey Reader sold more than 120 million copies in the 18th and 19th centuries and continue to sell 30,000 copies a year in modern time. McGuffey is remembered as a theological and conservative teacher for attempting to instill Presbyterian beliefs and morals into his students. His readers greatly affected the lives of children for the revolutionary new way of teaching them to read. McGuffey was not alone in the world of social reformation in the 19th century America. The growing social divisions and European immigration created a perfect atmosphere for reform and improvement of society and morals. <laughs> Several issues were addressed, such as slavery, inferiority of women, religion, and education. Men rule! McGuffey, however, was not the only education reformer. The movement was led by a horseman. Oh, whoops, I mean Horace Man. All of the reformers were idealists in a way. They wanted to accomplish something very large in a short amount of time. Most of the goals would be achieved, although maybe not until the 20th century. Although slavery did not end until after the Civil War, abolitionism had a huge effect ending it. Hooray! Racism continued to be an issue well into the 20th century. The Reformation in the 19th century set up a good position for later reform in America. Baby!